Hey, uh, are you close to getting that resolved? I mean, what have you heard from your dad? Uh, you know, I've just been focusing on this game Friday. You know, honestly, I haven't paid much attention to it. I mean, I don't really have to drive anytime soon. So yeah, you're not, not really, week, right? not, not really worried about it. So I mean, I mean obviously, got to get it resolved. But the focus for this week is definitely Notre Dame, not not that that outside distraction. You know. See, with the exception of one game, and we all remember that one, the last couple of years, when the spotlight has been on, uh, you've delivered. You know what I mean? What is it about the spotlight, and how much are you looking forward to the spotlight one more time Friday? Uh, I think it's just something that you know, this whole this whole team, this whole program looks forward to just going out and playing in big games. That's what we love. We love to go out there and compete. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we play our best games when we play against great competition. And so, I mean, we're just looking forward to get out there and play. You know, we, it's been about a month since we played a game. And so everyone's anxious. Everyone's getting all jittery. Everyone's getting ready. And, uh, you know, I think, I think we're prepared for this one. But you personally, what do you feel? What, what, inside, inside your, I, I would think every game you're getting pretty jacked because you're about to get hit, you know. <laughs> but what do you, what do you feel personally inside before a game like this, before a, Big time game that you know everybody's watching. I mean, Alabama game last year. What were you feeling going into that game? Uh, you know, definitely. I mean, everyone gets anxious, everyone gets nervous. So going to that game, you're very nervous. But I think the biggest thing is just going out there and just showing, showing what you can do, showing yeah. what you what you have to offer. Uh, and uh, I mean, it just, it's just a, as a competitor, I love going out there and playing against the best competition. And uh, this is a great team. We're going against with a great defense with some great players over there. So I mean, I'm excited to go out there and compete. And is there a tell, you know what a tell me, meaning an indicator to you early in a game or something that you're on, that, you, that you're seeing stuff, you know, that the, that the cuts are crisp? I mean, do you have, a, do you, do you have that every game do you, where you make a move and you go, hey, you know, I saw what was coming. Do you have those kind of uh, experiences? I mean, you keep trying to put this back on me, but I'm no, gonna I'm keep, not. No, I'm like, no, no, no. I'm gonna yeah, tell you, yeah. I was gonna keep but you're the guy with the ball. same answer. Uh, yeah, but you're the guy with the ball in your hand. Yeah, you know I mean? I, me the, and the old line were one, and so I mean, yeah. when they're rocking, I'm rocking. So I mean, when when we establish a line of scrimmage and uh, I can get to the second level and uh, make plays, that's when we're gonna be at our best. And so I mean, when the old line establishes that line of scrimmage early in the game, that's that's when I'm feeling good because I can get into a good rhythm. Yeah, and uh, I can uh, when, I, when I'm in a rhythm, like, things just slow down and. Uh, the game just seems slow to me. But I guess my point is, every guitar player, every every other performance isn't exactly the same because he either feels good about something or doesn't. You know what I mean? Are there indicators to you that you're on? I mean, you're you're seeing stuff. I mean, uh, I like to think that I'm on every game. Yeah. There you go. Hey, last thing, the slobs. This is their last go round, their last rodeo as a group. This particular group. What do you think this particular group sets them apart? or it makes them special? Um, they work. They're grinders, and uh, that's the biggest thing. They they work harder than any group on the team, and uh, just, just that chemistry they have together, and that's that, that bond, that brotherhood that they have is, is one thing with just the way they go out there every day and, and work harder than any guys on the team. And just uh, that, That's the, the thing that sets them apart is that they, they're not all the most gifted. You know, you got Taylor, who's definitely physically gifted, but the rest yeah. of the guys are not the most physically gifted. Uh, o line are not the biggest, the strongest, but you know they 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 go hard and they play for each other and they and they and I mean I think that's what sets them apart. Thanks, man. I saw yesterday you said that Notre Dame recruited you but wanted you to play in the secondary. Mm -hmm. um, what? Does that does that motivate you coming into this game? Kind of show them show them what they missed? Uh, no, not really. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal to me. No. Uh, I made made the right decision with what school I went to and. Uh, I think I've proved enough, but I mean, this the only thing that motivates me, honestly, is my brother. So I mean, I come out here and I'm gonna play for them, and uh, we're gonna get this 50th night for, for this summer class. How much did you like Notre Dame when they were recruiting you, and uh, how how kind of big of a matchup is this in the eyes of you and your teammates in terms of playing another elite program like this? Uh, I mean, I like this Notre Dame. It's a great university. You know, it's a lot of tradition. You know, I mean, it's a great program. You know, um, I mean. I had a great, I had a great relationship with Coach Alfred and the um, I don't think any relationship could rival the one I had with Coach Meyer and Coach Dan Drayton, who was, a, was my old running back coach here. And so, 
I, th- I think the Ohio State, which is the best pick for me, just off the relationship with the coaching staff. Was that a nice surprise when Coach Alford showed up last year? Uh, you know, it was definitely nice saying that my new running back coach would be a guy that I already knew personally, and I didn't have to get to know a new guy. So saying that we already had a relationship formed, it was, it was, I mean, it was a great feeling knowing that the guy coming in was someone I knew already.